Hello everybody, how's everyone doing? Happy Monday, start of a new week. It's a nice day out, it was a really nice weekend. Hopefully you guys got to go outside and do some exciting things, go on walks and hike and ride bikes and whatever else you have fun to do at your house. Um, this week, if we were at school, we'd be learning about the frogs in the pond and <clears throat> doing different kind of frog and duck activities and art projects. Um, today, to start off the week of the pond, I have a story that I'm going to read to you off of my iPad because uh, I don't really have any books at home that are pond and frog related. So I had to look one up. Um, and it is called Life at the Pond. And it kind of looks like this. Life at the Pond. I feel like you guys probably know what a pond is. It's like a small little body of water. It's not real big like the ocean. It's not, um, doesn't really run fast like a river. It's like a small little, like this. Small little body of water, little circle sometimes. Um, you might have some by your house and a bunch of different animals live there and we're going to read about them. So it's called Life at the Pond. And there's some little duckies. The pond shines in the sun. The water is quiet. Many things live at the pond. The pond is like a small world. It is home to many plants and fish. It is home to many reptiles and other animals. Around the pond, ducks feed and play. They gobble tiny plants and dive to catch the small fish. Mama duck watches her babies learn to swim. What fun. Big and small birds feed by the pond. Some of them snap up flying insects. The big blue heron spears a fish and gobbles it whole. How yummy. Mm. The top of the water is like a thin sheet. Insects skate, hop, and float on it. The water strider skates on long legs. The springtail hops across with its tail. Here we go. Whirl gig beetles spin on the water. They have eyes on each side to look up and down. Lily pads with pretty flowers float on top. The roots and stems are under the water, way at the bottom. Frogs begin as tiny eggs in the water. The eggs become wiggly tadpoles, and the tadpoles grow into frogs with legs. They jump in and out of the water looking for food. The bullfrog is one of the biggest frogs. He makes a big splash when he jumps in. He has a very loud croak that sounds like chug-a-rum, chug-a-rum. What is that pile of sticks in the water? Beavers have built a house for their family. When a beaver swims, it smacks the water with its tail. Smack! Turtles in the pond snap up little fish to eat. In water, the turtles sleep down in the mud. When it gets warm, they sun themselves on a big log in the water. Fish of many sizes and colors swim in the pond. They breathe under the water. Down in the mud, Mama Fish lays eggs. Later on, Papa Fish watches the babies. The pond is a small world where birds and fish, bugs and turtles, and many plants all live together. What a fun world. All right, and that is our story. So, what did we learn about? We, we saw some frogs in our story. We saw some turtles. We saw a couple of baby ducklings and ducks. A blue heron is a big bird. It has really long legs. You might see it flying around um, by little ponds. Um, we saw lily pads. We all know what lily pads are. And sometimes when you look really closely, you'll see the little buggies on the top walking across the water. Um, so what we're gonna try to do next is, since we saw some frogs in our story, we are going to try, let me move my camera a little closer, try to do 
the frog yoga pose. Now remember, when we do yoga, I'm gonna turn it a little bit too. When we do yoga, we close our eyes, we take deep breaths, and we practice stretching. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna get down like in a squat, fix my shirt. You're gonna put your hands, you're gonna squat your legs down so your knees are off of the ground, your feet are on the ground. We're not legging, right? You're up. You're gonna put your hands on the ground like this. You're just gonna close your eyes and take a couple deep breaths. Now, if this is too easy for you, what I want you to do is you're going to kind of stay in the same position. Actually, we're going to loosen up your legs, wiggle, 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 let them rest for a minute. Now, you're going to come back up in the same position, but this time you're going to push your elbows into your knees and kind of push your legs apart so you're stretching. This is a little bit more balanced than putting your hands on the ground. So, we're going to Stay in this position, take a couple deep breaths. If you feel like you're, back and you're losing balance, you can put your hands down to catch you. And you can come back up, get your balance, come back up. You can put your hands down, rest yeah. a little bit, shake your legs out. Try it one more time. Yeah. Now that you're in this position, we're also going to try to waddle like a duck. So for the rest of the day, if you want, instead of walking, standing up and walking, you can squat down real low. You can put your hands, like get your feathers out, put your thumbs under your armpits, right? Like you're flapping your wings. You're just gonna bounce up and down and waddle, waddle, waddle. You can quack, 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 quack. You can try it, waddle all around outside, waddle around your kitchen, probably not waddle up the steps, around your living room and your toy room. You can teach your brother and sister how to do it if you have one. And that should be fun for the rest of the day. Get moving, excuse me, get active. Keep your moms and dads from telling you to stop doing stuff. <laughs> Make good choices, right? All right, I'll see you again some other another time this week for something else. Try to come up with different activities and a couple different little lessons, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.